This video takes a look at Hammer and Chord, a synth from my JSFX set. Hammer and Chord is a string resonator simulation, so for each note it creates a virtual string which is plucked or struck. Hammer and Chord can generate a pluck impulse itself, so it can act like a typical synthesizer and that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video. There's a second video that focuses on using it as a MIDI controlled audio effect, and there's a link in the description and at the end. So, we'll start with MIDI notes playing a scale with different velocities. Here we have hammer and chord with just the default settings, which gives us a fairly basic pluck sound. Let's have a look at some of these parameters. This first dial up here controls how quickly the sound dies away. If we turn it up, the notes ring on for longer. If we turn it down, the notes die away faster. This dial here lets us choose whether the notes should ring on for an equal amount of time or with a lower note should ring on for longer, which can sound a bit more natural. The release dial is hopefully obvious. The damping section here controls a damping filter, which means that higher frequencies die away faster than lower ones. You can control the frequency and the strength of this filter to make it sound more or less muted. This velocity dial lets you link the filter frequency to the note velocity, which makes it more expressive. If you push this all the way to the right, louder notes have a higher filter, and to the left it's inverted. Next, let's look at this resonator section down here. It has two different modes for how it simulates the string. Linear isn't as good at very long decays, particularly with higher notes. All pass can do very long sustains, but the tuning is a bit more approximate, particularly with higher notes again. The next two dials control the timbre. If this dial is all the way negative, and the tone is all the way to the right, you can get a hollow sound a bit like a square wave. Basically just play around with these two and you can get some subtly different sounds out of it. These two dials control the detuning amount, and stereo width of the detuning. Lastly, these controls up here let us control the initial pluck sound used to resonate the string. You can control the brightness of the pluck, the velocity sensitivity, and even the volume. So that's how we could use hammer and chord as a synthesizer. There are some things that haven't been covered in this video, so check out part 2 for how to use it to modulate or resonate existing audio or impulses. There are instructions in the description below for how to install Hammer and Chord, as well as the other effects in my set, for which there are videos, so do check those out if you're interested.